Hey, 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 y'all. It's your girl, Bishop Becca, and I am back. Hey, I wanted to come and do my bishop's moment. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying out this new program, so don't judge me. It's a no judgment zone today on this testimony. <laughs> on every day. It's a no judgment zone every day. Praise God. Amen. Let's work out our own soul salvation. Don't judge people. But, yes, I'm trying out this new program, so um, y'all bear with me. But I did not not want to be on my kingdom post, y'all know how I feel about that, and not do the bishop's moment, right? So today, I wanted to talk to you all about won't he do it? You know what I'm saying? Won't he do it? Bro, if you watch, if you are a green leaf watcher like your girl, um, you know, I watched the good, the good green leaf. And um, on there, I think this season, they had a song on there. Um, it's a little, you know, had a little little dry beat on it was kind of cute you know and i was feeling it gave me my good trap gospel it put me in the good trap gospel feel um and it was like uh won't he do it hey he said he would yeah you know what i'm saying fight your battle something i don't know the words okay but it's okay check out that you know purchase that song but it's a dope song and it talks about won't he do what he said he would um and just Thinking about um, just this year and everything that's kind of been going on. And sometimes, you know, um, we kind of forget what he said. <laughs> we kind of forget uh, what he says because the situation, the circumstances in front of us kind of like take us for a loop. And we be like, yo, none of this is looking like what you said, Lord. You know what I'm saying? But I wanted to um, read a scripture to you all today. You all are very familiar with it. Um, Jeremiah 29 and 11. You know what I'm saying? And I wanted to read it to you in two different versions because I wanted you to see something. All right. So if you go with your girl, um, it's Jeremiah um, 29 and 11. And so I'm going to read to you the New International Version. And I think that's the one that people are the most familiar with. Um, and it says, and it reads like this, For I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in a future, right? So that's the New International Version. But I'm going to take you to the King James. And y'all know the bishop is a King James girl. I'm a King James baby. That's how the people raise me. Amen. Now the King James reads like this. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you an expected end. So, you know, some weeks back, I talked about one of the bishop's moments was about expecting victory. Uh, and, 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 and now, come through the word, you know, your expected end. So, what are you thinking about? So, if God showed you your end, right? Um, he showed you where he was taking you. But let's just say, for example, your thoughts are not align, are, are lining up with what God said and what he promised, right? Um, and so I'm praying for you all out there that God just kind of re, uh, recalibrates you. Shout out to Pastor Meacham for that. That God kind of recalibrates you so that you can get back on, on your post, you can get back focused, and you can get back on your assignment so that... Cause that won't he do it. You gonna hit. You gonna be shouting, won't he do it? Cause he said he would. When you actually get back on your kingdom post, if that makes any sense for you. So, testimony time is testimony Tuesday, and I'm gonna show you how. So let's say, for example, I'll use myself. Um, this year been a little. <clears throat> strange bit of a year but God told me at the beginning of the year that just the same way that I was felt like I was losing things like back to back to back to back to back to back and I actually did a video about it God told me that the same way I was losing things back to back to back to back to back he was going to bless me that same way in my next season right so um Check it out. Something happened. If you watch me, if you follow me on social media, all I know is something happened, I feel like, in the spirit realm, November 30th, going into December 1st. Walk with your girl. So what happened was I went to sleep early on November 30th, and um, I went to, I mean, I was tired, so I went to sleep. But something shifted between you know, December 30th and December, I mean, December 1st, November 30th, amen, and December 1st. I woke up December 1st with so much joy in my heart. Y'all, I have never in my life, like, in, in, in praise report, because since that day, I have been, I have woken up with so much joy. Every morning, I've gotten up 
since then, I've had peace in my peace that surpasses all understanding. I've had joy and happiness simultaneously. I honestly never thought that, that those two things could dwell in the same place. But oh my God, I am a walking, living, breathing testimony that they can. Um, And so I was like, okay, Lord, I don't really, I don't know what's ha happening. Like I was so happy. Like I felt like my heart was smiling if that is even a thing i don't even know but i am what i'm telling i'm saying all this to say is god remember what he said get in his word and read his word and remember what he said because he is not a man that he would lie okay he said he would turn your mourning into dancing, okay? He would give you a peace that surpasses all understanding. And the only way that can get you to the won't he do it, he said he would, is you got to read your word and know this word for yourself, okay? So, yo, bottom base, Bishop is always saying the same thing. If you ever, ever watch any of my videos, it all centers back to one thing. Getting into relationships with God, spending time in his words, spending time being around things of God so that you can get to your won't he do it moments. Thank you, Jesus. He said he would. If you if you had been praying and fasting for peace of mind and you was trying to stop stressing about what was going on and you wake up one day and you just thankful and you have a heart of just joy and peace, won't he do it? He said he would. You was out here crying, trying to figure out, you know, calling everybody, trying to figure out to get money to pay your bills, and, and didn't nobody have it. But then somebody just sent you some money in the mail from nowhere. Won't he do it? He said he would. He said he would supply all of your needs, not some of your needs, according to his riches and glory. The word of God, he said he would supply all of your needs. So, yo, just believe what the man said. Do not trust what you see. I'm going to say this again. Do not trust what you see. Believe in what the man, won't he said he would believe what his word says he will do. And I promise you, if you're walking in that, you should not have a care in the world. There, there is no reason why you should stress. There is no reason why you should um, feel uneasy because if you are reading the word of God and believing that is his plan for you, um, those things that God has already, you're expected in. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to ask God, God. God, I need you to help me prepare and make the right decisions and make the right steps so I can get to my expected end. So I'm praying, the bishop's praying for you today. So I'm praying that, praying for a number of things. One, I'm praying for you to, to wake up with joy, peace, peace. Uh, and love in your heart, um, having joy and happiness simultaneously, being able to um, share that and exude that and be that um, and pay it forward. You know what I'm saying? And not hold what God is doing um, for you and your life for you. It's not about you. I can't stress this enough. Your testimony, the things that God takes you through, the things that he brings you out of, they are not for you. They are for somebody else. They. That is why the word of God said it talks about don't forsake the assembly of the saints. Amen. If you don't never come around, folk, and share what God is doing in your life, iron sharpeneth iron. People um, will never become, I keep stressing this, who they're supposed to be in God if you're not on your kingdom post. So, hey, it's your girl, Bishop Becca. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay locked for some more good gospel music. I am getting ready for this interview. I'm so excited about this interview. Y'all don't understand. I'm on this city. So y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay locked for some more good gospel music. Tune in to gospelradionation.com right now. Get your good music on. Get your praise party on. If you at work and folks getting on your nerves, it's all right. Exodus 14 and 14. Well, 13 and 13 through 14. Just be quiet. <laughs> and let God fight for you. All right. Y'all be blessed.